if you saw my last video, Leave It in 2015, you probably think that I'm a bitter old hag, but in reality, 2015 really did hold some great memories, opportunities, and things of that sort for me. 2015, thank you. But you know, you also brought me some grief, some heartache. So <laughs> we're gonna go through the list of the best and the worst things that ever happened to me in the year 2015. <laughs> I had a mouse in my room. Sometimes you shoot your shot and you miss. If Steven really wants to go for my sloppy seconds, you know, like who can blame? <laughs> sloppy seconds, buddy, that you say that because didn't he knock you out of like number one on the charts? <laughs> second semester of my freshman year began my grandfather passed away and that was a very very hard sad thing I didn't start school on time after that because I wanted to be with the family yeah that was a really trying time on my family because a couple of years before that my grandma passed away so yeah it was kind of like you know that peace was gone I mean they'll always be here but I lost my second pageant. That one hurt, that one hurt. You don't always get what you want, and that's okay. For instance, I miss Drake when he randomly came on Howard's campus because I was getting my nails done. I love Drake so much. I have four, four Drake posters, two or three Drake shirts, I have that sweater that says, I know when those sleigh bells ring. I love Drake, we're going to get married someday, I don't care. He came to Howard University, he was in the bookstore, which I was just at maybe 15 or so minutes before he came in, and I missed him. I missed him. Everybody has these videos and stuff with him, some people have pictures, he on Instagram talking about where y'all at. Like, you can't play with people's feelings like that, Drake, okay? Cause I really wanted to see you. I shot my shot and I missed. Two of my professors so far have given me B's and I didn't deserve either B. So we're still in the process of getting those changed. The day I found out that Blackburn stopped serving on the weekends, I was, my life was over. I walked all the way to that cab to get some breakfast. Cause Blackburn is the only place that serves quality breakfast. That's our cafeteria on Howard's campus, by the way, like the main cafeteria anyway. And they stopped serving food on the weekends. So what I'm gonna do, eat cold syrup? All right. I'm ready. Overdrawn lips. Raven Simone, enough said. Running game, especially if you're lame, just don't, don't try. Going to parties and not dancing. You could have stayed home. And you know what else you need to let go? That Frank Ocean hurt. Frank isn't coming back. Just like your edges. 